SEC Women's Basketball Tournament's back at the Bon Secours Wellness Arena tomorrow. They've, of course, started the preparations already. And our Taylor Farmer is standing by live to talk about some of that work that's already underway. Taylor. Hey, Gordon, that's right. Excitement is building here in Greenville as the SEC Women's Basketball Tournament begins tomorrow. We spent the day walking around the city, even riding around the city with Smoke and Joe here with the Greenville Bike Taxi, finding out how hotels, stores, restaurants, and local law enforcement are preparing. The tournament is returning to Greenville for the seventh time since 2005. Thousands of fans are expected to travel to the area to cheer on their favorite team and enjoy what Greenville has to offer. Definitely keeps us crowded and a lot of times we'll get visitors in that may not have come into Mass General. Um, so usually you're, you're only a visitor once here, then you become part of the part of the family. Several hotels in downtown will host a team. The AC Hotel tells us they are fully staffed for a nearly fully booked next few days. It's a big coordination between all departments, housekeeping, sales, kitchen, front desk, even engineering, um, just meetings and communication between everyone so that we're prepared in advance for the team's arrival. Many business owners we spoke with tell us not only does hosting an event of this caliber create a fun atmosphere, but it's great for business as well. At our hotel, we have several restaurants as well as the Camperdown Plaza does. So we've got Paloma, our lounge bar and restaurant. There's also a rooftop restaurant and bar at Juniper. Uh, so we do see a lot of business. Local law enforcement tell us safety for the event is most important. The Greenville Police Department says they will be assisting in traffic flow and pedestrian crossings. They say they will also have three times their normal amount of officers in the area and around the arena. Events like this, especially with the city, we're a nonstop city, right? Greenville never sleeps anymore. So when we're bringing stuff like this in, we're 24 hours a day. So a lot of our personnel will come in and our staff and we'll make sure we've got that presence. We want to make sure the people see us, they see our people and they, they see our ambassadors. If you head to downtown Greenville, you'll be able to see some of the banners that are up and the logos on the ground, all promoting the tournament that will begin tomorrow at 11 a.m. with Georgia tipping off against Kentucky. For now, live in Greenville, Taylor Farmer, 7 News. Great job with that, Taylor. Thank you. Full coverage of the tournament game highlights with our sports segments and Pete Yannity, Todd Summers, as well as more on the atmosphere, all the fans with several of our reporters like Taylor starting tomorrow at noon.